If you struggle with anger, short temper, or wrath, then this video is for you. I'd like to break this down in two steps, but first I'm going to explain what anger is by reversing it on itself. What is the opposite of anger? The opposite of anger would just be an immense amount of joy, an immense amount of love. Because when you're angry, it's the opposite of those things. When you're angry, you have a immense amount of hate. You're not patient at all. You want something right then, or you are just extremely convicted and conflicted in your heart. Not only did Jesus never teach this once in any of the gospels, and never is it once mentioned to do that in the Bible, in any of these 66 books, but Jesus also never lived that way. He never showed that towards anyone ever. Even while he was on the cross, he didn't show any anger. Instead, he showed forgiveness. He showed love. He showed that immense love that I was talking about. I know that if I was on that cross, I would be, I'd probably be fuming. I mean, there's people, I just got pretty much tortured. I got a crown of thorns pushed into my skull. I got whipped on the back to the point where my flesh was exposed 39 times and carried a 300 pound cross with some random guy a whole bunch of stuff i probably wouldn't be having uh, a very um you know joyful experience i probably would not be very happy i would be enraged but jesus did not show that jesus showed love and compassion and he took up that cross and he took it to golgatha to die for us out of his love out of his abundant love and grace i'm going to read a couple of verses that really help with anger or at least that i think would help you with anger i'm going to start in ephesians 4 26 it says in your anger do not sin do not let the sun go down while you're so angry and do not give the devil a foothold that's really important anyone who has been stealing must steal no longer but must work doing something useful with their own hands that they may have something to share with those in need and this is really important right here verse 29 do not let any unwholesome talk come out of your mouths but only what is helpful for building up others according to their needs that it may benefit those who listen and do not grieve the holy spirit of god with whom you were sealed for the day of redemption get rid of all bitterness rage and anger brawling and slander along with every form of malice be kind and compassionate to one another forgiving each other just as christ god forgave you there is a lot to unpack there and i'm I don't have time to explain it all, but I want you to read that verse yourself. That was Ephesians 4, 26 through 32. And they just, they just really tackle the whole aspect of anger, bitterness and rage. Anger in general is just something that you want to stay away from. It produces absolutely no fruits of the spirit. There is no good thing that can possibly ever come from it. So if you struggle with anger, the first thing, the only thing really, I suggest that you do is give it to God. Through prayer, through fasting, through reading his word, you'll make it and you'll get out of this season that you're in and you'll stop being angry. And you're gonna notice that you are going to be just abundantly filled with joy and love towards others and towards yourself. Thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you liked it, please, if you wouldn't mind subscribing, I'm trying to make this channel into a full-time career. That's all. God bless.